So over here, you can see that I have a sentence and if I want to change the text color, let's say, for example, I want to change the text color for the word tutor tube, then I can go around, select out the uh, parts of the text that I want to change the color of. Then I can go around over here onto the fill option, click here and change the color, just like I could change color for different shapes. So I'm just going to go around, remove the period right here. And similarly, I can go around and select out different portions and then choose a different color for them as well. So that is how you can change out the text color. So you can go around, select it out all as well. And over here, you can see that there's selection colors. You can go around and choose a different color for that particular selection as well. You want to change around the color right here. You can go around and according to the selection, you can see that you can change around different parts right here, as you can see. So now what you can also do is change out the fonts according to how you like it. So you can go around right here, select these out right here. You can go around right here and then uh, let's say, for example, you want to change around the text from Roboto, which is the current text formatting. You can go around, select out a different font right here and the font will be changed. You can go around right here. You can uh, select out the font you want just like this. You can scroll down, select those font out and the font will be changed out while it saves out the color right here. You can go around right here, select out this color right here. So apart from this, you can also go around and then select out different options for the font. So for this font, there's uh, just a regular type of font right here. But let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around and scroll up right here, just like this. Let me just choose Gigi or so forth. Uh, you can see that there's only regular for this as well. You can also go around and type in the font as well. So I'm just going to type in Arial. And over here, there's regular Arial. As you can see, there's bold Arial right here. There's black Arial right here. You can go around there's italics right here as well. You can also select out portions right here and select out different things right here. So you can see that this is what you have right here. You've got the colors right here, just like this. And there you go. You got the colors right here. You can go around and select out single colors for all of these as well, just like this. And once you select single color, now you can just select uh, the, this out and then choose another color as a whole, as you can see. So that is how you can work around with text color and font options inside of a design file in Figma. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.